Hey everybody, James here with Fish Room Fever and today we are going to be discussing these plant watering spikes. Um, I actually use these for Pleco Caves. This was not my idea. I heard it from Corey at Aquarium Co-op um, who by his own admission heard it from someone else and I can't recall their name. Um, so credit to them. If you remember or know who that was, go ahead and put it down in the comments below for me. Um, but these are the particular ones I order off of Amazon. There are a lot of different varieties that you can get. So let's open the box and see what you get. And then we'll take a look at them in use. One thing, this is not the first time I've ordered this particular one. But one thing I do like, um, there are instructions. You're not going to need those because we're not using them for, for that cause. But the particular ones I get, they send you this free little mini gardening tool set. So that's kind of neat. You can do some like micro aqua aquascaping with it. Um, get that off there. So this is an eight pack and they do come packaged really securely. Be careful I don't knock any of these out while I'm unpackaging them. Alright, so one of the things that I like about the particular type that I get or this particular product is you get two different styles. You get these, which have got some shape to them, um, and then you get these that are just around. Um, so it gives a couple different options for the fish in terms of what they want to breed in. Uh, there are some different styles, different sizes. This particular package, um, the spike or the steak is just a little bit larger inside. Um, so that's why I prefer them. But I like to put a couple of each in each of the tanks. Let the plecos decide what type they prefer. And then if I have some caves that are not getting used at all, I'll just move them to another tank to see if something else wants to use them. But really simple. Um, I usually will just rinse these under the tap real quick. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, I know of a couple people that just throw them right in the tank. But I usually just give them a quick rinse just because they are a little dusty when they first come in. But let's go take a look at a couple of tanks and see these things in action. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these caves in action for these watering stakes. So I've got some bushy nose plecos down here. So there's that guy's home. And this one has spawned a couple times in here. Don't think he's got any babies right now. But if you look, even though I do have some DIY things in here and like some half terracotta pots they don't really use those nearly as much as the watering spikes. Um, if they don't have the watering spikes, they will use them to hide in, but I've not gotten as much breeding activity. Uh, but I have noticed, at least in my fish rooms, if I have the watering spikes in a tank, they will use them and they will breed in them. Let's take a look at a couple more tanks. All right, so here's another bushy nose pleco tank. And there's my big breeding male back there. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see him. Um, I've found that that spot back there is where he really likes that particular cave to be at. And he definitely makes sure that nobody else takes it over. So I've had, I think, four spawns from him in that cave. And then I've got another more calico male over here. And that is his cave. Nobody else goes in that cave. Um, I've had two spawns out of him in that particular cave. <clears throat> so overall, I'm, I really, really like these watering stakes. Um, I've had a really good success rate with them so far in Bushy Nose Plecos. And I'm looking forward to hopefully breeding out some other species in them. Um, if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that like button subscribe if you're not a subscriber and ding that notification bell so I can show you all some more cool stuff in the future. 
Uh, but let's go look at a couple more tanks. All right, so here we have a clown pleco that is hiding in one. Now, I do have four of them in this tank. I've not gotten any breeding activity out of them as of yet, um, but I also do only have this one spike in here. I've got to take those eight that I just showed you and get them into tanks so that I can hopefully get some more breeding going on. We do have a guy that he will hide back in there from time to time, but not all the time. Whereas this particular Pleco, he just, that's, that's his home. That's where he stays at. Nobody else goes in there. And that's where I can always find him. If we cut up here, don't think the snowballs are in them right now. But I have noticed since I put them in there, put the uh, watering stakes in there, that they have been using them a lot more frequently and getting a little more comfortable. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all just kind of hanging out throughout the tank at the moment. I did just flip their light on early and bother them, so they're not too happy about that. And if we come over to this one, we have got a male bristle nose and some babies. Let me see if I can get you a clear shot and some light in there. He's probably not gonna let me. Now, I don't know that you're gonna be able to see it on the camera, but he does have, oh, there you can see him. Got some little wigglers back there. They've still got their egg sacs on them. Um, this is his third spawn in that particular spike. I had a couple other ones in there. That was the one he picked, so I pulled the other spikes out because it's just him and one female. Um, so, didn't feel a need to leave the other ones empty. I moved them to other locations. But as you can see, a variety of species, uh, they will use them. Definitely have been helpful with breeding my bushy nose plecos, bristle nose plecos. So let's cut back to the desk and we'll go over the uh, specifics on these and do a wrap up. Okay, so as we saw, we do have several species that will use these. Uh, even has some babies in the one right now. Uh, overall, I really love these things. I mean, on average, what I've found for Pleco Caves is 10 to $14, some even more expensive. So, in this package, you are getting eight Pleco Caves um, for $20.99. Uh, so, not a bad deal at all. Basically, if you were to invest in two of the actual Pleco Caves from another store, you'd be spending that. So, you're basically getting six free Pleco Caves. And they work. Um, different species of snowballs, uh, even though they're not in there right now, are usually in them. Um, bushy nose, in particular, really, really love to spawn in them. Ever since I started using these, I've gotten a lot of breeding activity out of my bristle nose plecos uh, in these watering spikes. So I think it's a fantastic value. Uh, again, not my idea, but. But I tried it, and I recommend you do as well. If you've got any cave spawners or cave dwellers, uh, definitely good value. I will put an Amazon affiliate link down below if you want to try these out. Uh, if you use that, I do get you know a couple of pennies from it. Full disclosure, but I just take that money and I put it right back into the fish room um, towards you know buying more products so I can test more things for you and give you a review on it. So until next time. Keep your fish healthy and don't be afraid to catch yourself a little fish room feeder.